Good morning, everybody. My eye complaining yesterday that I was being dramatic about that Sarah was giving me a hard time about being dramatic. My eye, I don't watch. I don't know if it'll be if you can tell. You can kind of tell. It is literally puffy and swollen. Sarah even was like, "Whoa, you were messing around." I'm like, "No, I was being dramatic, but I like to be jokingly dramatic sometimes." But yeah, it hurts. We're gonna wait a little bit to see. If it, I took some allergy medicine to see if it's allergies. I don't. I've never had that, but maybe I'm having an allergic reaction or something. To me, it's so weird that it was so sudden. Like, it was literally about 30 minutes before the concert ended. It started to hurt. And then it got worse and, like, more painful, more painful. Still, like, bearable, because I slept last night. Um, and then woke up, and it was puffy, but it's like... It hurt. Nothing's in there that... I don't feel like anything's in there. I don't... I don't know, hopefully by the time you're watching this vlog, we've got it figured out. But in the meantime, I am loving... Hold on, let me show you this ridiculous drawer. Do not hate that I store coffee in the freezer, but I've got a ton in here. I've got the New England blend that I was sent from Boston. That's from work. This is from some friends. Here's some more from friends. Here's more from friends. Here's more from friends. Here's got Starbucks that Mac got me for Christmas. One of these is actually Chelsea's that I just have been holding on for her, I don't know why. Got some Dunkin' Donuts, some pumpkin spice coffee, Mickey coffee. I've got a whole drawer set of Expedition Roasters in, this, in like the dry storage. Um, I love getting all these coffees from, from most of them are from, from viewers like you, and I think it's awesome because I get to try different coffees from around the country. Not that I ever expected, but this has been my go-to, the Kona, Hawaiian Kona Company uh, Macadamia Mocha Roast. I'm so excited, I've got about one more pot's worth left in there, but that's what I'm roasting right there. I'm doing a full 12 cupper. I don't need 12 cups, but I'm gonna drink all of them, either hot or turn it into iced. This has not been a very long intro. Thank you, let's have a fun day. Better way to start off Epcot than some Beverly. Look how bubbly. And I'm, I'm going with the pineapple sauce. Cheers. We're at Epcot. It's only one of the two. There was a 50-50 chance once we said we're having Beverly that you would get the answer right because it's either Epcot, Future World, or Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, that's right. I, I thought you were spitting lies. I thought there was only two places in America you could get Beverly still. And it was here in Club Cool, the Coca Cola Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. But yeah, you can get it at the Coke store at Disney Springs. It's kind of like one place, is like Walt Disney World. was open so when we got here our fast pass was about done so we couldn't hop on so we're hoping that it's still that's an attraction for love, but it's not always open later yeah history we made man but we were less people to get on that row. I like that I like being on the back row rich trap water from the flowing mud
Look at this flock right here. They're like all pails paneling around up there. Four of them. They're all friends. Uh-oh. Where are you guys going? They left one behind. No, that one's just gotta go home to its parents. Yeah. It's dinner time. Jill keeps saying she's gotta come back here with us and we gotta hunt for more caterpillars because we saw a caterpillar once. Did you see Chelsea's in Snapchat today? No. Uh, Wait, there's like one hatching. Oh, no. Maybe no, not. No, there's two? No, this is what they have to do. You Chelsea explained it in her Snapchat. They hang up there for a while because they're so wet from the Oh, they gotta they dry, dry out? Oh, okay. I was nervous it was the opposite. No, it's just drying. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen that. We never did that cool stuff in elementary school. We just did owl pellets. Yeah, we did owl pellets. We're doing all kinds, we're trying to do all kinds of boat rides that we haven't done in a while. We haven't done Living with the Land, we did that, and now, we haven't done Grand Fiesta Tour. Oh, not yet, Sarah. I wouldn't mind that, though, if they overlaid it to that. I think it'd be, I think even like looking at the layout of the ride, it could be done very well, with that beginning hallway being like the like path. Chase, like the storyline is the same. And it ends with the stage. Like, how perfect is it? It's almost like it's meant to be. They're just waiting for it to not be so obvious. Confessions, I don't know if we ever told this story, but the first time I ever came to Disney World was with Sarah, and when we first came into the Mexico Pavilion, literally blew my mind. I was just astonished. I walked in, it was like Pipes of the Caribbean. I was like, we're outside. I, love I miss those first feelings. Yeah, it really feels like vacation. Oh, it does? You know it's always fun when Sarah says that statement there. I feel real good. about like things smelling like vacation or feeling like vacation. Like I absolutely love living here in our day to day like experiences but we also have like, it feels like the college program, feels like vacation. It feels like it feels living like here. food and wine. Like we have like these very particular time frames that we spent time here together. And so like all of them make me super happy. But it's just like, vacation I feel like is like the most. It's the solar flow. Look at that. Since we've already seen, I've already seen Avengers twice. We haven't been through this since they switched it back to like. Yeah, from Frozen. Fun fact: Peter's two kitty cats. When we were dating, they were their names were Thor and Odin. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh. The last piece of Sarah's birthday present: a hand-painted face mask from the Italy store. <laughs> and maybe some jewelry. Oh. Oh. Rings and then there's necklaces down there. Can you want a necklace of, of Italy? Do I want a new wedding ring? No, I love my wedding ring. Thank you very much. When Sarah sees a, uh, a Instagram worthy photo, she sees it. Look at these depths of field right here. Tower, different from that tower, different from that building, different from Spaceship Earth. Side note, on a Peter level, if you've never been to Wine Cellar, even if you have children, go there because they've got delicious food right next to Tudo Gusto's, Tudo Gusto's Wine Cellar. It is our favorite place. We'll be start we'll start going there more often when it gets really hot out, right? Yeah. It's literally the perfect because it's so dim because it's a little cellar and they got little dishes and plates, good limoncello, good charcuterie boards and appetizers. Um, but it's dimly lit couches and low level seats and tables. Small yes, it's it's our go-to when we're at Epcot and it's really hot. Besides the lounge. Yeah. But it is my favorite like in the world showcase. Like I like that vibe. Yeah. So our plan was to get water from Morocco like we usually do and take a seat by the water. I think every possible like private viewing that like a company or organization or group can book on World Showcase Lagoon has been booked tonight because every little 
seating platform area by the water, like down by the water that we usually go to, is roped off and getting set up for private parties. So we made it all the way to Canada. From Morocco. And we're sitting by the seating. We're sitting by the seating. It's got a name, the Mill the Stage. Which is not gonna perform anytime soon because it's all locked up. We're just gonna sit here, relax for a minute, have our water, and then figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the night until illuminated. Are we watching illuminations? I think so. I think so too. It's a, kind of an illuminations kind of night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a run, but illuminations first. But we came over here after relaxing by Canada because we're like, why don't we go to those loungy chairs that are in the play area? Not realizing, right as we walk around the corner, Sarah's like, <laughs> I think it closes when it gets dark. And sure enough, Right, it's all safety. Sure enough, it closes, but there's the chairs that we wanted to sit in. All right, this is the club cool that I love. I love when it's busy, because I love like busy Disney World, because it just means everybody. Yeah, I, I am like a proud parent. Like I love when people love Disney World and it's crowded, because it wouldn't be here if it wasn't crowded at times. But I surely love it when it's nice and empty, and it's all to ourselves. I think I'm gonna have one of everything tonight, before we're done. Besides Beverly, it would be this one. Yeah, that's like, I used to drink this energy drink called Balls, B-A-W-L-S. Um, it's like a Sprite energy drink. It's less chemically than so Monster good. and Red it's Bull. Like a glass blue yeah, it's my literally favorite. It is my favorite. You could you used to only go to get it at thinkgeek.com, but now it's coming back into other stores like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So Sarah, Sarah's idea to come check out Ellen's energy to see what was going on. And I'm not gonna lie, kind of, black lustered about this signage right here. But I think it's because my wife is an awesome graphic designer and worked at a place that printed these kind of, yeah. these things that I'm like, it just looks kind of cheesily done. I was, I'm wondering what they're gonna do to the outside if they're gonna change anything at all about it. No. Oh, what up, bottle rail? Come on to the grandest finale of the fountain show. Wow. If we haven't said it, or if you're a new viewer and we said it a long time ago, I used to work in the electric umbrella right there. And when I would bus, these like shows and songs would ring through my brain for days. And though each of us has our own individual stories to tell, a true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Reflections of Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, kind of like, kind of like our favorite nighttime show. Having been with us for illuminations, that's, a, that's in existence right now. We hope that your visit to the Walt Disney World Resort has been a truly magical experience okay. same, same, for you same, same, but different. I think this is my favorite. We wish you a pleasant evening. Only a few more weeks of that sign. And then there'll be no festival until food and wine. Look at this display. Do we figure out it's all Star Wars, you think? Yes, it's all Star Wars. So people don't realize this, that when you're watching Star Wars from in the park, a lot of the fireworks are shot not just away from you, but like outside of the park on the other side of the world. Across drive. the street. Across the street. Guys, we tried to film this last night and it was such. Wait, it's doing it again. It like goes unfocused. Okay. It's too magical. Okay. You can kind of see him. Wait. And then. Whoa. You can like. like right over us. Yep. Pretty cool. I'm proud of us for actually capturing it because it was such a struggle the other night. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've been dozing off on the couch. Peter got back from his run. Um, he did five miles, even though I told him to only do three. Um, but yeah, we're, we're headed off to bed and I just wanted to close it out and say it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>